brown very much. Now, we don't know quite where that spine is on the shaft, so we're going to start off with the label up. What we're going to do is we're going to emulate the shaft loading and releasing and trying to find that energy there, the consistent energy flow there. What we're doing here is I've got the face of the driver parallel to the table and I'm just going to pick this shaft up and emulate the kick of the shaft. And you can see for yourself that it's wobbling all over the place. So if this club had been glued together with this label up then obviously it would have been um, out of balance. Now what we're going to do here in order to find that we're going to rotate the shaft a little bit rotate the head so it's back in the proper position lift the shaft up obviously still not spined yet we're going to keep rotating that until we find the spine and the consistent kick in it we're close to it right there now as you can see it's reacting totally different it's very consistent in the spine is jumping straight up and down. That is the same thing as that shaft releasing and being right on line in the consistent energy flow there. Now, the next thing we're gonna do is once we found that spine, we're gonna take and we're gonna mark it, the little ink pin here, 